All right, Richard Lewis from the Steady Peddler here. Hey, I've got my X Peak here, and uh, and boy, it's a great bike. I'm I'm kind of wanting to experiment with something that I have seen coming up on YouTube. The 170 millimeter crank length that has become the industry standard, and is what's coming on all electric bikes that I've run across. There may be some that are shorter, but I haven't seen them so far. But the 170 length is now falling into disfavor and is being replaced by shorter crank lengths, especially on people who are running e-bikes where they have additional assistance from the motor. So I'm going to set up my X-Peak with a 152 millimeter crank. So the 152, you'll notice, is approximately three quarters of an inch shorter. So if I was having pedal clearance problems, like some people are having with their step-through model, that would get you another three quarters of an inch away from the front tire with your uh, crank arm. Now the advantage of these shorter crank arms is several. Uh, there's also uh, uh, physical advantages to the rider with them as well. So the crank arm, uh, going to the shorter crank arms, you know, the advantages that you're gonna see on some of these scientific videos that are out on YouTube is you're going to see that the smaller uh, radius circle that you're pedaling in is actually more efficient than the larger circle of the 170s and that any torque advantage that you might have with the, with the 170s is easily offset by that. Also if you're a senior rider who doesn't have some of the flexibility, flexors in your hip and so on uh, and, and your thigh and calf then having a smaller circle to turn works better that way. In addition, you have the obvious advantage that you have more ground clearance. If you're going over obstacles on your bike, the ground clearance that you have with the crank arm in the down position is gonna be improved by three quarters of an inch. You're gonna to touch down less on roots and rocks and, and wood uh, uh, tree, uh, tree limbs and stuff that you're trying to jump over or you're trying to get over. So that's what's up. I'm getting this on my X-Peak over the next day or two. I'll have a follow-up video for you on how that goes. And we'll see if this is, uh, is going to be a, a good solution for all riders on X-Peak and other bikes that uh, have come out from electric. So talk to you soon. Richard at the Steady Peddler. Don't forget to like and subscribe.